All right, Riley, here we are. Here we are, Clark Wolf. How are you feeling? I feel, I feel okay. Good. I feel okay. You know, look, there's, uh, I'm not going to lie, there's a lot of expectations put on us in the beginning. Yeah. And uh, we did not win our first match. What was it? Dead or alive. And oh, yeah! Yeah! Oh, yeah! Uh, John and I are back for the movie trivia showdown. We lost to a tango and cash question. We went into a I hate depression. that movie. No! We went addicted to many kinds of narcotics, but now we're back after rehab. We're ready. A lot of meditation. We fresh pressed juice. Yes, a lot of fresh pressed. A lot of colon cleansing we did. Yeah, and we're ready. Don't have to poop today. On Clark Wolf and Mark Riley, the wolves of Clark and Mark. Clark and hey, I didn't realize that rhymes. Yeah, it's a good name for a candy. As you know, it's the movie trivia schmodown. Anybody's game. The wheel of death. The categories. The questions. You never know what you're gonna get. Now we're back. We do have something to prove, and we're gonna prove it. We work well together, so let's do this. You know, we're here to earn some respect, all right? Because most people don't don't realize, don't watch the other videos on our channel. We love movies, man. We love. We movies. have forever. We talk about stuff after we do reactions, and no one seems to notice that. Yeah. So, so we want to show that we know what we're talking about. That we know film. This is about earning respect. This is. We're hungry. Yeah. We're 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 starving. We're hungry for some Clark and Marks. They're nice guys, and they have uh, they know their stuff, and I hate for either of us to lose, but we got to win. Yeah, hell of a nice guys, but uh, yeah, we're going to win this. We, we have to win this because, you know, one team has to come out on top. That's going to be us. Wolves of Steel, we respect you, we love you, and you're both very attractive people, but you're going to make an ugly mess out there out of embarrassment tonight. Listen, we want our belts. We, you know, we should be wearing these belts. Yeah. I, I like belts. Yeah, belts are good. They keep up pants. They look pretty under the lights. And they show how smart you are. They do. They are a representative of being smart. Belts. back to the movie trivia schmodown it is the team league mark i'm christian harlock i am mark ellis you know christian the last time we saw the wolves of steel they got an unexpected ravy shot and today they try to go for redemption against two of the hoodlums from the simpsons and uh, whoa that is absolutely a great great representation of the real rejects because look when they came in here to play last time against etc Everyone thought ETC was just going to steamroll. Wipe the floor with them. Was not the case. No. It came down to the last question. Tango and Cash still haunts them to, in their sleep. The world famous 1989 film starring Sylvester Sloan and, and Kurt Russell. You know, it's almost like the real rejects have become their own Tango and Cash of this league, except neither one of them can afford a suit. Well, but look, here's the thing. They weren't. If you would have said that we're going to match up the the real rejects against Wolves of Steel, you'd be like, why is that happening? Why in a world will we ever do that to them? It makes a lot of sense right now because the Wolves of Steel, Mark Riley and Clark Wolf, two of the the superstars of this league were, were dead. They said, oh, they're going to be the champions. And then the team heroes hit comic book movies, and it just sunk it all to hell. That's right. And they're personally reeling from some individual losses recently as well. So can they form a team? Can the Wolves of Steel be the legends that we thought they would be? Or are the real rejects going to surprise us again? Well, we're going to find out. Here is the tale of the tape. You got real rejects. Arnie and Sly, definitely a strength. You have some 80s movies, that's a strength. And then reacting, also a strength. Good at reacting. And then you got the Wolves of Steel, where you have 80s movies, horror movies, and trying to protect Mark Riley's wonderful hair. It is fantastic hair, and the only thing better than Mark Riley's hair is the golden throat of Mr. Christian Harloff. You ready, boy? Ready. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Movie Trivia Schmodown. Introducing first, with a record of zero wins, one defeat, representing the Real Rejects channel, ladies and gentlemen, Greg and John, the Real Rejects. Boring a note from Awesome Mix Volume 1, Full of Brad Falls, yeah. full of flamboyance and showmanship. Yeah, a lot of energy this time around. I have never seen more energy from a losing team, Christian. Ah! That was really good, so they're ready to go. This what a big win this could be. Uga Shaka indeed. A big victory if they can pull it off. And their opponents with a record. Zero wins. 
one defeat representing Collider Nightmares, ladies and gentlemen, Mark, Yodi, Riley, and Classy Clark Wolf, the Wolves of Steel. Oh, what a gentleman holding the curtain for yeah. the lady, wearing their name Look brand that. shirts, coming out to a horror classic soundtrack. I like the dance, but they're also, I like that, dancing the two, a scary song. You know, Christian, I have not seen dancing like that since I went to oh, a geriatric classy. wedding. Oh, they're saying hi to each other. Oh, look, see, that's, that's good. See, I like the fact that the real Wait. rejects have done a face turn. That's good. This is perhaps the most hydrated we've ever seen four competitors at one time. <laughs> yeah. Will it factor into round three? All right, here we go. So here is how round one works. Mark. Ladies and gentlemen, you will each get three questions in round one from three different movie categories. Each question is worth one point. You're, you do not get a penalty for missing a question. There is no stealing in round one. And because it's a team match, you are not allowed to confer with your teammate during round one. It is your question and yours alone. Wolf yes. Steel, you guys are the favorites. Would you like to go first or second? Uh, we're going to go first. You're going to go first. All right, Real Rejects, category uh -huh. one or category two? Two. Two. Hey, All right, Real two. Rejects, two and two. All right, so who will be going first from the Wolves of Steel? Uh, I'll go first. I'm just going to okay, meditate guys. during you guys. In the category question. of fantasy sci-fi, Mark Riley, name one of the films directed by Roland Emmerich before his 1996 blockbuster, Independence Day. I love Independence Day, the first one. Five, four, three, two, one. We're looking for either Stargate or Universal oh. Soldier. The wow. Oscar winning Universal Soldier, right, I believe. Right, my right. favorite two movies. All right, in the category of famous actors or actresses, Mark Riley, Ever After. It's a Cinderella story starring who as the protagonist, Danielle? Uh, Drew Barrymore. That is correct. They're on the board. The Wolves of Steel are biting again. And Mark Riley, your final question in round one. Rom-coms. Name the film that paired Gerard Butler and Jennifer Aniston as feuding exes. He's going to the forehead. I'm trying to, it's that hair. I'm trying to help superpower. Samson. Five. The real truth? Looking for the bounty hunter. Oh, oh yeah, man. that's... The bounty, yeah, the bounty Hunter, hunter. one that, of Christian's yeah. favorite that, uh, movies uh, of that truth. year. <laughs> now we move yeah. over truth. to the real, the, the real Rejects. The Real Rejects, which of you will be answering the questions first? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll go first. I'll go first this time. All right, John, you are up, and yes. your question comes from the realm of fantasy sci-fi. Love it. Which Terry Gilliam film involves time travel and a humanity-threatening plague? <sighs> Uh, time Bandits. Looking for 12 monkeys God. on that one. 12 monkeys it's okay, John. We're on still that here. one. Still we one move to seen. famous actors and actresses. Cool. Which gangster film featured Christian Bale as FBI agent Melvin Purvis? Public Enemies. And they're on the board as well. Yes. Yes. Real rejects with the tie and for the lead early in the match. Best Michael Mann film. By far. Romantic comedies. In Bride Wars. Kate Hudson faces off against her best friend, played by whom? Oh, man, Bride Wars. See, I'm, I'm getting this confused with 27 dresses, I know. Uh, can I have the question one more time? In Bride Wars, Kate Hudson faces off against her best friend, played by whom? Five, four, um, three, two. Uh, Amber Tamblyn? Ooh. Looking for Anne Hathaway. Anne Hathaway. Right. Anne Hathaway. And now it goes back to Wolves of Steel, tied back up over one. to Wolves of Steel. Clark it. Wolf in the category of Oscar Don't. movies. Who won an Oscar for the role of Velma Kelly in Chicago? Catherine Zeta Jones. That is correct. One for one. Clark Wolf looks focused. In the category of action adventure, Book of Secrets is the sequel to what film? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no. Doing the classic Kevin McAllister face. Five. Oh four, God, I'm gonna feel so three, stupid when you say it. Two. I don't have it. One. We're looking for National Treasure. Oh, I don't feel so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and in your last category, Clark Wolf, 
category of box office. Uh huh. What is the domestic highest grossing film for Mr. Tom Cruise? Is it A, Minority Report, B, War of the Worlds, C, Interview with the Vampire, D, Edge of Tomorrow? Jiminy Cricket. Uh, what are? The, can you please have the? May I have the choices one more time? Is it A. Minority Report, B. War of the Worlds, C. Interview with the Vampire, D. Edge of Tomorrow. Minority Report. The answer was War of the Worlds. Wow. Okay. War of the Worlds. You gotta love somebody whose only swear word is Jiminy Cricket. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> We're back to the real rejects, and Greg, you are up. Yes. Your question. I love movie fights. Comes from the category. <laughs> Of Oscar movies. Yes. Who won an Oscar for the role of Javier Rodriguez in the film Traffic? Benicio Del Toro. One yeah. point. Tied up. Man. For the real rejects, we move to one of your purported strengths, action adventure. Who played Paul Walker's love interest in the 2005 movie Into the Blue? Jessica Alba. And they take the lead. <laughs> Greg, be honest, how many times have you watched Into the Blue starring Miss Jessica Alba? Well, Jessica Alba has my last name, so <laughs> we're practically married and sister and brother. Too. Practically not married at all. The restraining order still stands. We go to box office. This is a multiple choice question. Yes. What is the domestic highest grossing film for Miss Demi Moore? Is it A, G.I. Jane, B, Ghost, C, Charlie's Angels, Full Throttle, or D, A Few Good Men? Ghost. Another wow. point for the Real Rejects running that category. Look at that. So after the first round, it is the Real Rejects up four to two as we get into round number two. Miss Emma Fife will bring out the wheel here as Mark There's the wheel. Emma. tells Emma. us the rules of round two. In round two, because this is the team format, each team will get six questions from a category they spin on the wheel. If you do not like the category that you spin at first, you are awarded a mulligan if you want to use it. However, your second spin, you must take whatever category you land on. If it lands on opponent's choice, your opponent can choose whichever category they want you to answer from. Each question is worth two points. However, you do have the option of multiple choice, at which point the value of the question goes down to one point. Keep in mind, teams, there is stealing in this round, and you are allowed to confer with your teammate on every question. All right, so the real rejects. Know, you guys are in the lead. You can choose to spin first or go second. John, would you like to spin? Yeah, I'd love to spin. So you guys yeah, will spin first. They're right. going to let it ride. There we go. I don't see Mel Gibson on here. He left. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Here's the spin. He just spins and walks away. And you got, what is Ooh. that? Ooh. Horror. Horror. Let's take, Let's take horror. it. Let's take it. Horror like horror. against the Lighter nightmares. I, that is ballsy. You Let's gotta like right. that play. It's go. a very intimidating move. <laughs> <laughs> this wheel. The wheel hates me. <laughs> Question number one to the real rejects. Piper Laurie plays the mother from hell in what horror classic? Carrie. That is correct. Two points right <laughs> off the bat. All right. I, I telecommunicated that one. Who played Thanks, the role of Robert Thorne in the original Omen? Multiple choice. Mm. Is no. it A, Jimmy Stewart? I should have conferred. I'm Jimmy sorry. Stewart, <laughs> B, Gregory Peck, C, John Lithgow, D, Martin Sheen. Gregory Peck. That is correct. All right. One like point where maybe choice. they could have gotten <laughs> yeah, no, two. That's good, actually. That was, that was a good call. How much money does Marion Crane steal in Psycho? <laughs> I think we should do multiple choice. Let's do multiple choice, one, yeah. Christian and Mark. Is it A, 30,000, B, 40,000, C, 45,000, D, 50,000? I take any sum of that money. Christian. Me too. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Five, paper, scissors. four, three. 30,000. Is incorrect. We'll Damn. Steal. Can, can we hear the answer? Is it A, 30,000, B, 40,000, C, 45,000, D, 50,000? You don't need to confirm something. 45. Looking for 40,000. 40,000 clams. That was our second guess. All right, so <laughs> no points stolen there by the Wolves of Steel. Who directed The Dead Zone? We would like a multiple we choice. We like a multiple choice. Please. A, John Carpenter. B, David Cronenberg. C, Ron Howard. 
D, Wes Craven. Can we hear that one more time, please? A, John Carpenter. B, David Cronenberg. C, Ron Howard. D, Wes Craven. We'll go with Cronenberg. That's correct. Wow. Yes. yes. How many Saw films have been released theatrically as of 2016? Seven. That is correct. Yeah. You know, Big Christian, it's fan. almost creepy how fast he knew that answer. Who Saw knows fan. there's Big seven Saw, Saw movies that fast? They're all Saw right. 3D. <laughs> Your final question in the realm of horror, Boris Karloff, close to a great name, stars in which 1931 monster film? Frankenstein. Correct. I knew that Two too. Two easy points. <laughs> all right, so there you go. No Walk skills. Apart. That no. turned out to be all right for them. So after the after that spin, it is 12 to 2. A big mountain, but if there's any two people that can climb it, it might be the Steel Wolves. Wolves of Steel need to have a very strong round here. I just want to say this is a good match so far. There's the spin. <laughs> Embrace that wheel. Hands on. We definitely oh, do not. Westerns. <laughs> Westerns. And he's saying no. <laughs> spinning right away. Going ahead and spinning again. <laughs> oh, great. What was it? It looks it looks like opponent's a choice. Opponent's, choice. opponent's choice. Opponent's choice. Wow. Hmm. So now, Christian, that it's wheel. actually I, incumbent upon the I real rejects. I believe yeah. at the end of this match, we will see Clark Wolf destroying the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm not happy with the wheel, Christian. <laughs> <laughs> you hate that wheel. I really hate it. What do you got, guys? What do we want? Yeah, what, what, what category, category would, you, would guys... you like? Look at this. What a move by the real region. Is this a display of showmanship? Because I'm not humility. Humility. I don't know. I think, I think it's showmanship. Like I think they're giving them a chance. JTE's here. Hey, what's they're up, giving them a chance to, to play here. Christian, we might have to give them the countdown. Wow. And John Roca and JTE can't believe what's happening. Yeah. John Roca, JT. Oh, John yeah, Roca screaming for the Rooney's. knockout. Nice Two guys who have never met sportsmanship, and but the they're giving them a chance to go. Rolls of yeah. Steel. We'll make it interesting. 90s. I've 90s movies. Okay. Fun, John right? Roca I mean, and JTE together over there. They just look like two criminals who are very, very upset at the Stop bank robbery. Shaking your head, you two. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. Animated movie. Wolves Animated of Steel. Western. You're up. Animated Westerns. Rango. It's all Rango. <laughs> your category, thanks to the graciousness of the real rejects, is 90s movies. Your first question. Steal Johnny Depp goes undercover as what in Donnie Brasco? Well, yeah, yeah, he goes undercover as a mobster. That's incorrect. <laughs> you guys want to steal? Yeah, let's steal. It's a fugazi. Well, yeah. It's a fugazi. Donnie Brasco goes undercover as what? As what? I thought that was correct. One Italian gangster. A jewel thief? Jewel. Oh, jewel thief. Yeah, is that, yeah. What's your final answer? Fugazi. What is your final answer? Jewel thief. Jewel thief is correct. It, it is steal. a jewel thief. <laughs> A huge steal. He was made a gangster after he went undercover as a jewel thief. On a category that they donated to them, they have already stolen two points from the Wolves of Steel. Your next question. John. <laughs> All right. Fuck the secret guy. is we both Name like, the movie the in which John Travolta is zapped by a bright light in the sky, leaving him with extrasensory perception. Phenomenon. Yeah. You're right, back you on the right back. track. <laughs> All right. In the film From Dusk Till Dawn, oh, God. who plays the RV driving patriarch whose family gets kidnapped by George Clooney and Quentin Tarantino? Oh, I don't know why I keep telling Riley the <laughs> Carvey Keitel. Two Correct. points. All right, coming back. The Wolves of Steel. Coming back here. Harvey, Harvey Keitel, no stranger right. to full frontal <laughs> nudity. And now we move on to your fourth question. Alicia Silverstone plays Cher in what 90s film? Clueless. Clueless. There you go. All right, here we go. Coming back. This is interesting. In the film Basic Instinct, what is the occupation of suspected murderer Catherine Trammell? Okay. A novelist. Two more points. Wow. <laughs> it looked like it was going dark, but they're starting to climb to the light, Mark. Hell For the yeah. Wolves of Steel, who played United States President Dale in Tim Burton's Mars Attacks? Jack Nicholson. Look at that. Whoa. Oh, Whoa. What a round. And after <laughs> we that, that 14-12, they were on the verge of being knocked out. The real rejects played the nice card and allowed them to climb Shut all the way up, back Roca. into the game. Shut up, Roca. John Roca screaming at the there real rejects now. There. All right, so 
Let's it, get to the third round here. Now we anymore. enter into round three. Round three, each team is going to pick three numbers from one to 25. You guys can pick any three numbers you want. They correspond to a different movie category. The movie mm -hmm. category point values will range from one to three to five. We will tell you the category you chose. You will then select which of the teammate is going to solo answer that question. For the five point question, you are allowed to confer with your teammate. There is no stealing in round three. Real rejects, you guys are in the lead. 14, 12, please pick three numbers. 13. 14. <laughs> 22. 13, Ooh. 14, 22. All right, Wolves of Steel. 4, 12, 19. You guys strategize. All right, oh, they spread the out. Oh. Every time. <laughs> All right, Wolves of Steel, you guys are up first. You picked category four. Yeah. Wolves of Steel, for your one point category, choose which member of your team will be answering a question from Disney. Okay, I'll go. Mark Riley, your one point question. You are not allowed to confer with Clark during this question. Who plays the singing prince in the live action animation hybrid Enchanted? Ah. Uh. Uh, Patrick Dempsey? Ooh. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. Jan yeah. Damn it! Oh, no, you said it! <laughs> he you unfortunately it. had to take no Patrick skills, Dempsey, right? and the correct answer is James yeah, Marsden. I know. <laughs> James <laughs> Marsden. Whoa. What, happened like yeah. what happened to he final answer? Yeah. What happened to final answer? Well, you, scre you screamed it out. That was that. that oh, was that, that, yeah. that negates all yeah. the and final answers. This is also answer. not who wants they to be a millionaire. Before. They, didn't, they didn't scream yeah. it into I know, I know. It's all for show, guys. Don't worry, I'm not mad. All right. <laughs> All right, so now we move on to, I believe, Clark. the next category was 12. Uh, 12. Clark? Oh, me, yes. <laughs> Your category is 80s movies. Mm. For three points, what actor plays Sergeant Al Powell in Die Hard? Uh, oh. I'm gonna take a guess. Reginald Vale Johnson. The guest pays oh, off! Yeah. Yeah. Three pointer! Wow. What wow. I am seeing right now. The terror in Clark Wolf's face at that question, Very and then impressive. she gets it. Now we're back to the to Literally, the no idea what the answer no, was. No, that was great. That All was right, here awesome. we go. He the always plays a cop. Here we go, guys. Category 13, your category is Marvel Films. Who will be answering the Marvel Films question? I just saw Doctor Strange, so I think I should go. All right. <laughs> Greg Alba will be going in the category of Marvel films. Which Marvel character said, if I had a black light, this place would look like a Jackson Pollock painting? Oh, man. You actually know yes, it? Yes, I do. Bastard. Um, I had a black light. Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, I had a Star Lord. That is correct. Oh. <laughs> Opening music, baby. Opening music. <laughs> they literally came out to a song popularized again by Guardians of the Galaxy, and somehow Ooga, he pulls chaka, out Star Ooga, Wars. Ooga. Category 14, famous directors. Great. Well, I know a lot of them. There we Quentin go. Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> Who directed Groundhog Day? <clears throat> Harold Ramis? That is correct. Three points. Back to the Wolves of Steel now for their five-pointer in order to take the lead and stay in the game. If they miss the five-pointer, the real rejects will win the game. Wolves of Steel, for five points, your category is Star Wars. <laughs> your question. In Star Wars Episodes 2 and 3, what is Count Dooku's Sith Lord title? Darth Tyrannus. There you go. Five points. Oh and just God. like that. Nice Mark this is so interesting. Has put the Wolves of Steel in the lead <laughs> here. Job, buddy. This 20, is way too interesting. 18. It comes down to this, Mark. The final question. We Five can, points. We can confirm this one? You can confer. The real rejects with a chance to win the game against the Wolves mm -hmm. of Steel. Your category, 22. In the category of fantasy sci-fi, hmm. Gargantua <laughs> is the name given to a black hole in which sci-fi film? This is it. This is depression right here. This is the moment. 
Five. <laughs> four. Greg seemingly reminding Three. Two. One. Need an answer. Here you go. The event horizon? And your winner! Whatever! Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> what Mark <laughs> Riley! <laughs> Mark Wolf! The Wolves of Steel! The answer wow. was Interstellar. What is Interstellar, Interstellar is what we're looking for. You know, Christian, say what you will about the real rejects, but what a great display of sportsmanship. Hey, look, they, they did a nice thing. Yeah. They gave him a chance to come back, and the yeah. Wolves of Steel did come back, and it was all about that third round. Great match. You know, they call her Classy Clark Wolf. I think we need to start calling them the Classy Rejects because those guys really showed me something today. I have a song in my heart thanks to those losers. All right, let's go and talk to Emma Fife, who has both the Wolves of Steel and the Real Rejects. What's up, Schmodown fans? I am here with our champions, Mark Riley and Clark Wolf, a.k.a. Wolves of Steel. What a comeback, guys. You lost last time, and this time you pulled out all the stops, and you won. We did. We won, and uh, it was it was a squeaker. It was a squeaker for sure. A little too close for comfort, I'd say. Yeah, a little too close for comfort. Uh, I, I almost hesitate to say there's an asterisk there because those guys, real real jacks, what what great guys. I, that's all I have to say. They could have beaten us. They were nice. They played the game. They wanted a good game, which I respect. Thank you for that, guys. Uh, they're a hell of a, uh, a team, so uh, that that was a fun one, though. I mean, not only that, they got horror as a category. That's your yeah. strong point. Yeah. How are you feeling about that? I loved them so much when they tried to give us horror, too, because <laughs> that would have been, like, the ultimate level playing field. Yeah. Um, we knew all the questions except the Marion the Marian Crane question in the horror category. Yeah. So we were ready to steal, but gosh darn it, they wouldn't let us, which was so unfair. So, um, I, you know, it was cool that, that in the end we got to do something that we felt a little more strong about, but I, I'm gonna land on horror one of these days. <laughs> How many times do we have to spin that damn wheel? Right, someday, Clark. Someday. someday. And it all came down to the final five point question. Now, when you got the category of Star Wars, were you thinking, I got this, or were you still sweating it? No, I was thinking I got this. <laughs> yeah, thank God for Star Wars. That's that's my wheelhouse. So yeah. there you go. Absolutely. So more on round three. You were given. Oh, oh boy. boy. Let me oh, take no. this. Oh, I'll take Are this. Are you kidding yeah. me with this? You call that a victory? You feel good about that, Riley? They handed you the match. Mm. You were going down again, mm. and you got handed the match. How can you feel good about that? You should return the victory. Oh, I feel good because I actually answered a Star Wars question correctly. Oh, I see. Yeah, one. you finally got one question right at the end there. Yeah. That's why you ran away from Westerns. Yeah, I didn't run. I was given that uh, gift that of some... Uh, some uh, very nice competitors, but no, yes. you, you have more to say. I know you got some hot air. No, no, Go. I'm glad you won. Oh, I'm good. Glad you won. Yeah. Because I want you a little soft by the time I take you on again in the spectacular. Mm, okay. I want you all hot and happy and like, or I mean, hot and sad and like needing a victory. Now you're soft. You're gonna take this victory, put the big old asterisk on it, think you've done something, and now it's you and me, finally again for the rematch. And there's gonna be no gift. I'm not gonna give you a damn thing. That's for sure. Don't be looking for no great gift. There's no, you know, I reject the real rejects. And I'm going to protest this match when I'm done with this interview right now. I'm going to beat you again in the Smodown Spectacular. I'm going to okay. get that belt to put on the other side of my body. All right. And I'm going to be a champion in both divisions. Okay. Yeah. Just get ready, Riley. Okay. And no gifts are coming for you. You got it, yeah. dude. I'll see ya. <laughs> okay. Clark, do you have anything you'd like to add? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, Roka may reject the real rejects, but we certainly do not reject them here. We'll be here with the nice guy losers in just a minute. I'm here with the real rejects. Guys, you almost had them. Hey, man, you know, we did. But however, think of this. Strategy. What's around we could steal from? 90s. We both lived it recently. <laughs> yeah, denial's a great thing. Yeah. I love denial. I'm going <laughs> with denial. You guys did give them that category. You guys, I hear, were perceived as perhaps being a little douchey the last time around. So you yeah. Go for the nice guy approach this time. We yeah. take comments really seriously. Always read the comments. It's the best thing. We have a know. need for approval yeah. as our base human emotion. Yeah, we so. don't have any self-fulfillment <laughs> yeah. you know, at all. Um, so we wanted to just be very kind. People thought I was a little mean to Clark when I made a little comment last time when I found out about the match. So I thought, you know, what would be a more interesting match than giving them a? Uh, let's try making this interesting. No one you know? likes a landslide, man. People like a tight game, and that's what we, we could have chosen like high. animated movies or westerns, but that would have been a boring match. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, it definitely was a very tight round. Now, tell me about your thought process on that last question, because Gargantua, I would have never come up with Interstellar. Yeah, I, I wouldn't. Be, I thought they were gonna. I thought Interstellar would be like a number letter sequence, sure. like science. Yeah. yeah. What What's sad is I thought Interstellar, but I was like, I don't remember anyone saying that Interstellar. <laughs> 
better. So I was like, I, I, John's guess is probably better. Yeah. I remember that Matthew McConaughey crying meme. And that's yeah. Yeah. That happened a lot in Interstellar. Yeah. <laughs> now, you guys, as I say, you did extremely well this time around. This was another almost for you guys. We're called the real rejects for a reason. Yeah. yeah. Gotta keep our namesake alive. <laughs> Do you guys feel like now you can be classified as the best losers ever? Yeah. Right there with, like, you know, JT and all them, you know? <laughs> 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 title I would be happy to wear on a t-shirt. Yeah. Best loser ever. I think that, you know what, We I feel like our whole point on coming on this was to prove that we still know movies, that we can still compete in the game. We don't lose by a... Yeah. <laughs> we don't lose by a lot. We always like the two times we've come on, we've lost by only one question. And so and we got more points this time than we did the last time. So I, I feel like that we can still play this game and I feel like, you know, one day we'll work our way up playing Roca, Damn mural, even the schmoes themselves. Man. Ellis. We're looking Arlo. to throw down. <laughs> We're looking to throw down. throw down. Well, I'd say you guys definitely achieved your goal this time around. Thanks. It's about respect. Exactly. Going the distance. Yeah. Respect. yeah. Respect. <laughs> well, I think that you've certainly earned some respect. Back to you, Christian and Mark. All right, Mark. Well, there you go. Listen. How about that? First of all, what a surprise that John Roca popped into the interview in the end there. Not a surprise. He and Riley have a showdown coming up at the Schmodown Spectacular. So the back and forth was pretty fun. But it's all about the Wolves of Steel now. One and one. Where they go next? Uh, well, first of all, John Roca goes to therapy. I've never seen more of a desperate right. need for attention or the spotlight for somebody who can't seem to win a singles match. But, you know, for the Wolves of Steel, they really had the momentum they needed. They needed to get a W either individually or collectively as a team. They can really do some damage from here. Well, they did, and I mean, now, now the question is, who is next? There's so many different teams that are climbing up the ranks, but I'll tell you this, Real Rejects, when you see the 0-2, it's deceiving because both of their both of their losses have been very, very close against ETC, and they almost just beat the Wolves of Steel. Some will say that they had them on the verge of knockout. Real Rejects need to go home. They need to watch some game film, put it together for three rounds, and maybe don't spot a really talented opponent an entire round two category next time. Well, it was a nice thing that they did, but look, nice guys apparently today finished last. Oh, we so know it. There you go, guys. Now it is time for you guys to join the Movie Trivia Facebook page started by you. There are stats there, conversations all the time. Check it out. And if you haven't checked out the panel that we did from LA Comic Con, please do that as well. There was a big challenge thrown down by two different people. There was a lot of fans that showed up. It was a lot of fun. So for Mark Ellis, I'm Christian Harloff. This is the Movie Trivia Schmodown Team Edition. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, if you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It'll help you stay up to date with everything we've got going on here at Collider.